Hello and welcome my beautiful Scorpios. Brenda Tarot here with your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of March the 11th to the 17th. So let's move right on and jump into your reading and see what's happening. Your download message is own your power. Okay, this is about you stepping up and, and you know, um, honking your own horn, letting everybody hear what you have to say. And you deserve to speak up. Don't hold it in. Don't play second fiddle to anybody. Don't take the back seat. Don't try to fit in, okay? And don't settle. This is a week where you need to step up into who you are and let the powers that be and those around you know who you are and what you have to offer. And ha and, and being a great asset to, uh, to the equation here as well. So don't be afraid. Be courageous. Be brave. Um, you know, like I say, blow your own horn. You know, be the leader of your own parade here. You've got the steering wheel, my beautiful Scorpio. So grab onto it and go. Coming in with your first... Uh, you've got some great cards here. Coming in with your first um, uh, oracle message, you've got happiness. You've got the eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. And you've got the perched bird. And that's waiting for news, a package, or a letter coming in. So um, this week, you know, there, there tends to be a lot of challenges in this week uh, here. But I think at the end of the day, you're looking at things from a higher perspective. And you're going to be able to get over these challenges, okay? Okay you know, triumph over troubles and obstacles. And I'm so glad that these cards came up, which is going to lead you to be able to step up into your owning your own power again. Again, you could be waiting for something to come in, a, a letter, a, you know, news, a package or something coming in. Um, just be patient, um, you know, don't try to force issues. Um, you probably will hear from this source uh, at the perfect time. It's going to bring you happiness. There's something coming through here which is going to bring you happiness. And you, you're finally going to be able to clear the air. And maybe what's going to bring you this happiness is these new opportunities coming in, connecting with the right people, you know, making a call to move forward and leave a situation for good because you're tired of being deceived in this situation. It's left you brokenhearted that you just don't want to walk into that anymore. And, you know, you didn't know whether you were strong enough to do this and, 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 and be able to get through this thing. But you took control because here comes the emperor and you realize that you stood in your truth. So let's read this. Okay, so coming in with the Hierophant first row, the Judgment card, and the Three of Swords, and this could be past tense or uh, the beginning of the week, the Hierophant comes in and says you're going to be joining new groups. You might be getting involved in more spirituality. You might be getting involved in more psychic abilities, intuitive abilities, empathic abilities. But you're going to be meeting new friends, basically. And they're going to be people who want to be in your end of the ring that have the same goals, likes, dislikes, and, and the same creative juices flowing through them to succeed at these at what it is you want to do very powerful unit it's called the unity card as well the hierophant and you might be doing things in trying to go by the book more you might be studying and doing this and being doing things in a more traditional way um, you might have been winging it some of you in the past where you were flying by the seat of your pants hoping that every all the chips would fall in your favor and you found out that you know it's it's stressful to do that so you could be getting together tapping into the right people the right mentors to be able to guide you and give you coping skills to go in a new direction um, you you also I think are tapping into your higher self you're able now to tap into your own intuition and have more empathic powers being more psychic having those abilities because you are Scorpio you're a water sign you have that ability not that all water not that other signs aren't either but you're you have this 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 water almost flowing through you all the time which you want to jump that wave and go forward and succeed and you can you're going to have a good team here of friends and family or business around you uh, in business. Now the judgment card comes out, and you've made a judgment call. You're out of here. You're moving forward. You don't. You 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 don't. You you've got a second chance to do something different here, and you're going to take it. Uh, this is about going forward in a new direction, and um, also only taking those people with you that are now loyal to you and want to see you succeed and want to help build that success with you. So this is rebirth. This is getting a second chance here. You've made a judgment call to go in a new direction. 
the, the Three of Swords may have brought you to this, okay? Where you had dis great disappointment. Uh, it might have been heartbreak. It could have been a breakup, the end of a job. It could have been, um, you know, uh, a divorce, separation, anything like that that's left you feeling very disappointed. You're going to heal through that. You're becoming stronger. You've made your mind up. You've got a second chance. You're going after what you want to go after. And you trusted your intuition here. And, you know, you. And it's almost like you had divine intervention step forward and say, hey, you don't deserve this. You need to step up into your power. You deserve to be happy. Coming in next in the center position, which could be the energy you're feeling now or the middle of the week, you've got the King of Swords, you've got the Six of Swords, and you've got that powerful Emperor. So the King of Swords, you know, basically some of you might, might be retaining a legal eagle or a lawyer or somebody to represent you uh, in a situation or just getting some wise uh, advice from somebody who you can trust that is, you know, has an, out, they're an outstanding uh, position in society or they may be able to um, be an advocate for you. Uh, but de definitely um, they see the truth in you and they may want to defend you for this or they just may be giving you some legal advice you could be signing documents you could be signing you know it could be a lease it could be a mortgage it could be a business transaction it could be you know you know something like that where it needs a second you know a, a, a person there to of legal uh, ability to um, to notarize it witness it Coming in in that center position, Six of Swords, leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores. Things are going to get better. I told you that. You've decided to move on. You've got this second chance now to look at a new horizon. Um, you're going to find that there's going to be a better future for you by, you know, letting go of things here that, you know, you've made a command decision to get out of those situations and go forward. Again, this is a card that says there's always going to be a wave in the water uh, and, you know, you're going to get bounced around a little bit here and there, but nothing like what you've had to experience in the past. You know, in the perfect world, we wouldn't have that. Coming in next, you got the Emperor and I told you that's owning your own power. That's being in the seat of power. That's being logical and organized and crossing your T's and dotting your I's and getting your ducks in a row and being confident now uh, you've come to a conclusion that yes you're going to own your own power this is a card that says you you're going to succeed in something here because you've planned things well uh, and you're going to find that you you're going to your confidence level is going to just hit the hit the sky okay it's going to skyrocket coming in at the end of the week um, or energy future energy coming in towards you, you have the seven of swords you have that ace of wands and you have the eight of swords so seven and eight of swords um, is indicative of you uh, somebody could have deceived you they could have betrayed you liar cheater thief card here um, you know it could be the wolf in sheep's clothing somebody portrays to be on your in your end of the ring and support you and at the end of the day they could be trying to ride on your coattails of success and try to steal some of the thunder from you or uh, you know rain on your parade uh, they get caught at the end of the day between you trusting your own instincts and your own intuition you have this empathic ability to feel that negative energy and know it's toxic um, you know I think you're going to finally see the light somebody could also step up here for some of you Scorpios and say you need to know something about this and you're going to finally see this, see this. Um, this is all about you uh, realizing that um, you need to keep your eyes open and um, be very aware of who is around you right now. Don't trust everybody. Okay. Um, I want to go right jump into the eight from the seven here. This is about you presuming, assuming, feeling that this is not going to work out. Whatever this is you're going through, you're you're at that point where you're thinking, how is this ever going to get better? What am I going to feel better? Um, you feel as though you're being held back, but this is just up in your head. And we call this the stinking thinking card, Scorpio. Step out of your way, my darlings, because you're blocking your way to success and happiness here, okay? You want to have happiness here. You're, you're, you want to uh, you want to see something come in here that's going to be successful. And the Ace of Wands says it's here it's coming um you <clears throat> you know you finally have a clear sight line of where you want to go and what you want to do what you want to create uh what you want to defend and you know this is a card that says open yourself up to new doors of opportunity this could be you know anything new job new career uh new way of thinking new relationships new location whatever the case is this is a great card that says open up to new beginnings here and it's a brand new beautiful world out there scorpio okay you're waiting for something to come in though let's see let's see what we've got here for clarifiers 
What do we need to see? So there is happiness. You're going to be finally stepping up and have the freedom to do what you want on your own. And feeling that powerful position. Do You know, you're going to get over these situations that have troubled you for a while. And you're getting over that. Excellent cards. Excellent. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Coming in with that Hierophant, you've got the Five of Swords. So again, that struggle here. Pick your battles wisely. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in other people's drama. Um, you know, this is about you uh, realizing that if you do get involved in to every single battle out there or debate, you could end up and set yourself up for a fall. Uh, you don't want to know when situations. Um, often when we go into, you've heard me say this, battle mode, we go in there knowing there's risks and consequences. And at the end of the day, you better weigh them out before you go in. Okay, because you could win the, win the battle but lose the war. And that means uh, there could be something where you could end up having to sacrifice something because you wanted to stand your ground. Now, the judgment card, you've got the two of swords and that is not wanting to make a decision, okay? You're feeling like, I, I don't wanna do this. I, I, you know, and you're holding yourself back from moving forward and that's because you're not seeing the picture in complete clarity. Remember we talked about the king of swords getting wise counsel? You may have to get a mediator here to lay the cards in a fair and equitable manner on the table, especially if you're going through a divorce or a separation or the disbursements of settlements and properties and things, okay? You want to see what you have to gain and lose. And often I see, as I say, compromise comes in with this card, which means both parties, if you're dealing with someone else, you'll walk away and realize that's as good as it gets, but you'll be satisfied. Lay, you know, coming on top of that Three of Swords, there's going to be great success, happiness, stability. You're going to find that you have enough money. Uh, things are going to be very stable here. The Ten of Pentacles is not is the card that says stop worrying about finances. You've got it, and it's going to give you a good st stable uh, foundation in within your home life. The King of Swords, you've got the Five of Pentacles again, concern, feeling alone, the card of bankruptcy, lack and loss, money loss. Uh, feeling as though you're uh, isolated um, and some of you could be for some of you you could be is uh, isolating yourself or internalizing your problems um, and this card says you there are doors of opportunity here for you to go through them and get the resources that you need to resolve these worries and problems if it's money you're going to go to the bank or you're going to speak to somebody here or maybe there's a legal action that you're taking and you want to know what you, you can come out of it with uh, and any personal issues lean into the you know your closest confidant your bff your your sister your you know your mother whoever it is that you trust to confide in and they'll be there to give you support but also sometimes counsel is is uh it is a card here part is is the card here that you need to pay attention to where you can seek professional therapy or counsel for an issue Coming in with the Six of Swords, you've got the Strength card. Yeah, you know what? Moving on in a new direction is hard for everybody. And you might have felt that, you know, uh, sometimes we enable and stay in situations um, because it we're, we don't know life any different. And this is why so many people end up in dysfunctional relationships and situations because they have the fear of what is on the outside, the unknown. But it's better than where you were. And this is a card that says you're stronger than you believed you ever could be. And, and you're going to take that stand. You're going to claim your power and you're going to finally make that stand. But you're also going to be looking at things in a kinder, more understanding and uh, maybe even a forgiving manner. And that's okay, but you can still move on from, your, from the problems that you've been dealing with and move in a new direction. But you're going to throw it out into the universe and ask them to take it with forgiveness so you can clear that energy and move forward and feel stronger for it. Um, if you're in any kind of conversations or debates, be sure that you don't jump in in the heat of the moment and say things that you can't take back because words are like that. And we can apologize till the cows come home, but that doesn't mean the person that we we hurt or we threw those words out to are going to forget. Okay, so be careful of, and mindful of how you speak. The Emperor, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, yes. Setting your goals, um, you know, whatever she puts her hand to, she, um, she's got a green thumb, she grows, she plants her seeds, and she waits patiently. This is something here where there's going to be fertility coming in and fruition coming in, and you will see your harvest coming in, but you're going to have to wait for it, okay? You could be waiting here for something here, which could be that. Coming in next with the Seven of Swords, you have the Tower. Suddenly, there's a big change. It could be a big breakup, uh, <clears throat> you know, walking away from this deception. Um, and now you realize that you've got to change, <clears throat> change everything around your life and you're going to rebuild a brand new foundation. 
something might not have been on a steady foundation or a secure foundation to begin with and it was inevitable it was going to end or come crashing down you're moving on you you know you're going to be able to do this coming in with twice see you're moving on of course you're moving on you've got the emperor here on top of the ace of swords um you know very capable very confident uh you know um thinking and looking at things in logical ways and being organized not running around uh, you know helter skelter here uh you're going to be sitting in that seat of power now you have that ability to step out there and rebuild a whole new beginning for yourself you're never too old to reinvent yourself because it happens every day okay so don't think that you can't do it coming in with the eight of swords you have the eight of swords double message uh no don't it's eight of pentacles sorry um you know working hard again for your goals not allowing yourself to sit idle you you want to see success coming in so you're going to pound the pavement and work hard consistency due diligence determination um and also you you some of you could be working in some sort of an apprenticeship here or doing something where you're working hands-on and learning as you go uh, some of you could be taking, uh, going back to school to get a credit or a degree or some sort of diploma in something that you can add to your resume to enhance you on that next leg and level on the ladder of success and new, brand new tax bracket. Okay, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios, this is your reading for this week of March the 11th to the 17th. And, you know, you're stepping up here. You're definitely going to be okay. You're going to step up into your power and take control, moving on and realizing that you're going to rebuild something even better that's going to make you happier than ever before, and you're going to overcome those obstacles and troubles. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings, and I'll see you soon, my beautiful Scorpios.